Throughout history, humans have been killing each other with all types of things, and it advanced throughout time. It started off with stone, went to daggers and swords, cannons, tanks, guns, bombs, and atomic bombs. On this channel, we've made a lot of videos about bombs, but in this video, we want to talk about the mother of all bombs, because that's exactly what this bomb is named after. The actual name of the mother of all bombs is the GBU-43B Massive Ordnance Air Blast, but for short, they call it the MOAB, MOAB, or mother of all bombs. On the 13th of April 2017, a powerful bomb was dropped in the sky of Afghanistan. This was the first time that a bomb like this was dropped somewhere, and it wasn't nuclear. But before we get to know the mother of all bombs, let's get to know the history of bombs. Everybody knows that in 1945, the Americans tested a nuclear bomb in New Mexico, and a few months later, they dropped two on Japan, one in Hiroshima and one in Nagasaki. After these two explosions, the whole world was shocked. Even the Americans didn't expect this much destruction. Even though they already had tested it, they tested it in an open field, not inside the city, so they didn't understand the destruction until they dropped it. Even before the bombs were dropped, after Berlin was captured, the Cold War had already begun, and each side was trying to make weapons to outdo the other one. But four years later, when you get to 1949, Stalin has his own nuclear bomb, and he tests it. And the race between the superpowers got even more serious, and they were trying to outdo one another in nuclear weapons alongside every other type of weapon. After the Soviet Union had tested the bombs, when you pass 11 years after the Soviet Union tested their first bomb, meaning in the 1960s, the nuclear bombs have gotten so powerful that they make the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs look like firecrackers. In the 1960s, the Soviets and the Americans had bombs that were 2,000 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. This is extremely concerning because we've all seen the footage of Hiroshima and how it looks. Imagine 2,000 times more powerful. In the year 1961, the Soviets tested the most powerful bomb in history the Sarbamba, which was 3,800 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. And after this bomb, it hasn't gotten any more powerful, but who needs it to get any more powerful? After a few decades of testing nuclear weapons here and there between these two massive countries, it seems like they got a little tired and they were feeling sorry for themselves and the people around them. So they tried to make a deal to stop nuclear testing in the world, which is what happened in the 1980s. After signing these, these two countries have not tested nuclear weapons, even though other countries have, but their arsenal is filled with them, so they don't need to worry about it. This is when both countries went towards bombs that are much powerful than regular bombs, but they're not nuclear. There's something you should know. They were very familiar with these types of bombs already. It's not like it was something new. When you look at the bombs dropped on Vietnam during the Vietnam War, these weren't nuclear, but they were extremely deadly. When you look at white phosphorus bombs or napalm, these things set everything on fire, and anything in that area will burn to death. So in some ways, you could count these types of bombs even deadlier than nuclear weapons. When you get to the 1990s, war has completely changed, and they're mostly happening in the Middle East, a place that's much drier than East Asia like Vietnam. Now they need bombs that don't rain fire like the napalm. They need powerful bombs that destructs buildings. You could say this is exactly when the mother of all bombs program is created. When you get to April 2003, the US Army is testing a bomb that has never been tested before in the state of Florida. A bomb that had 80% TNT and 20% aluminum powder. And it was completely massive. It was 9 meters tall and 103 centimeters wide. Unlike other powerful bombs, this isn't made to break armor. This is mostly for destruction, which is why it causes a whole lot of destruction rather than pierce armor. 
Dropping this bomb is completely different than other ones. First of all, it's only carried by the Lockheed C-130 and it goes up around 1800 meters. Then the pilot chooses an area they want to attack and it drops from the back door of the C-130. It gets pulled out with a parachute and with the help of GPS, it goes towards the target exactly. If you remember the Hiroshima bomb, it exploded at approximately 600 meters in the air so they can get the maximum amount of damage. But the mother of all bomb explodes 2 meters off the ground and this causes this extremely powerful bomb to have a huge blast radius. The US Army designs this weapon and they give it to McAllister Army Ammunition Plant to build it. They built 15 of them, the US Army accepts it and puts it in storage. 14 years passes and we get to the year 2017, where finally, one of these mother of all bombs is going to be used in Afghanistan. They drop it next to a cave where 94 ISIS members were hiding in. Although this is what Afghanistan's military officially reported, while other people say the blast radius was so huge that it actually hurt civilians. But who knows? But there's something you should know about the mother of all bombs, is that when it explodes, it also kills the oxygen in that area. So if you're close by, there is a way you could suffocate. After this bomb was dropped, Pope Francis said that you shouldn't call a weapon like this that destroys lives the mother of all bombs because mothers are creators and they bring life, not death like this weapon. But it seems like nobody paid attention and got back to what they were doing. 15 Moabs have been made, but only one has been used, why is that? Because it's not worth it and it's extremely expensive. Each one of these bombs costs 16 million dollars. Dropping the bomb is also very dangerous because a C-130 has to go into enemy's territory which is very dangerous because they can get hit while they're dropping. And there are better alternatives because you have missiles that are much safer and more exact. And of course you have drones which are much cheaper than missiles. After the mother of all bombs was dropped on Afghanistan, a lot of reporters said that the richest country in the world has dropped one of the most powerful bombs in history on the poorest country in the world, which is very shameful. We're not trying to make these videos to make these weapons look cool. We are just reporting on what's happening around the world and what are these modern weapons. Even though these deadly weapons cause a lot of destruction and they're very ugly, but the technology they give to the world is interesting because a lot of the tech we have is because of the competition in weapon designing around the world. One of the most famous examples is GPS, where the Americans created in World War II to get around, but now it's an extremely useful tool made for everybody, or microwaves, and the list goes on and on. Please let us know what you think about this analogy. 